Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share another video on a different way that you could soak fruits for your fruit cake this year. Now, if you're not a fan of like all the raisins and all of these other ingredients that we would normally put into black cake or fruit cake, you can go ahead and try out this recipe because I'm utilizing some different fruits and a different mixture. So if you're interested in something different, please keep on watching. So I've got all of my ingredients I'm using today. Today I'm using some dried cranberries. I'm using some maraschino cherries or you can use the glacé cherries. I'm also using some golden raisins and I'm also gonna use a little bit of mixed peel. That's gonna give a really nice citrus flavor. I'm also using some Jamaican spice rum as well as some red wine, but you can use any type of alcohol that you want. And I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of brown sugar to balance out the sweetness of the cranberries. So into a large bowl, I just wanna mix up all of my fruits so this way it's easier for me to go ahead and grind it. So in the bowl, I'm going in with the cranberries, I'm going in with those golden raisins, and you wanna make sure to wash the cranberries and the raisins just in case there's sediment in them from the packaging. And I'm going in with my mixed peel as well as my maraschino cherries. Now, I like to leave a little bit of juice in my maraschino cherries just because it's gonna add an extra redness and a beautiful color to the entire fruit mixture and then that's going to translate into the cake and make it a really beautiful color. Now all you're going to do is mix up all of these fruits until they are well combined. The reason why I like to mix them up is so this way everything is evenly combined already so this way after I grind it there's not much mixing I have to do. But if you wanted to grind them separately and then mix them that is totally up to you and your preferences. Now at this point, once I mix all my fruits together, I'm gonna to go in with little batches at a time and grind them in my food processor. Now I'm using a food processor today. If you wanted to use a blender, feel free to do so. Just make sure whatever you're using, you're using a high quality version because if you don't, sometimes being that the fruits are dry and a little hard, they can mess up your blender or food processor. Now into that little batch of fruits I put in, I'm pouring on a little bit of the red wine at a time and I'm also going in with a little bit of, of the sugar at a time and I'm gonna keep on blending this up in little batches and then and taking them out and emptying it into a bowl until all of my fruits are done grinding. And the texture of your fruits is totally up to you. If you like a very chunky fruit cake, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and leave it very chunky. And if you want something that's very, very smooth and homogenous, then you're gonna wanna make it smooth. I did it more on the smoother side because my family doesn't really like big chunks in our fruit cake. So I just wanted to show you guys the beautiful reddish color that it has. It's really nice and bright. And as you guys can see, I made it more on the smooth side just because that is what my family and I prefer. And all I'm gonna keep on doing is after I grind a set, I'm gonna put it into a bowl and I'm gonna keep on grinding the rest of my fruits. Once you clear out that blender or food processor with the first batch of fruits that you ground up, you're gonna go ahead and add in a second batch of fruits and you're gonna keep on grinding with a little bit of wine or the alcohol at a time, just to loosen it up, and the rest of your sugar until everything is mixed up and blended really well. So I finished grinding all of my fruits and as you guys can see, this mixture has such a beautiful color and all I'm gonna do now is pour on all of my spiced rum. Now, the reason why I didn't put it into the food processor as I was blending the fruits was because it was a little too much liquid to go in there, it wasn't gonna blend properly. So I used all of the wine out when I blended them and all I gotta do is mix in this extra alcohol. If you wanted to blend it with it and your blender had the space or your food processor had the space, feel free to do so. But all I'm gonna do is mix this up together and then this mixture is ready to store. You can store this for as long as you want. You can store it for a couple of months, a couple of weeks, really as long as you want until you make your cake. So I have a clean airtight glass jar that I'm putting this mixture in. You wanna make sure whenever making your black cake mixture or grinding any fruits with alcohol in it, that you put it in a container that can seal really well. The last thing you want is for air to get on this and that's what's gonna cause it to spoil or grow mildew or anything like that. Once it is sealed tightly and you leave it at room temperature in a cool, darker place, it will last for a really long time. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial today. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet and leave those comments down below. I hope you guys stay tuned until next week where I bake my fruit cake using this mixture. I love doing riffs off of the traditional and I hope you guys are excited as I am. See you guys very soon. Bye, everyone.